to $120 an hour and payment method is not verified. I just don't know what goes through people's heads when they are posting a job. Welcome to my desk. If I'm being honest, I haven't applied to any Upwork jobs in a minute. And I kind of want to see what's going on there because I have heard some Upwork horror stories. I have heard about Upwork scams. I have heard that Upwork is just kind of being weird these days. And I've heard that the jobs on there are kind of hit or miss. So what I thought would be fun is if I took a look at Upwork and we just kind of look together at what's going on on Upwork, what kind of jobs are out there and giving you my advice on whether I would apply to a job or pass on it or even flag it as scammy. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd so appreciate if you can hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already for more tips on Upwork and freelance and video editing and really all things of that nature. So come along and let's take a look at old Upwork. Let me just put myself in the Upwork mentality. Here I am I'm on Upwork and I'm applying for a job. Let's look at this one. No stars, that's what I like to see. They need an expert, strong video editor that can make promo videos, three to five minutes, possibly one minute long clips. Standard at intro and outro for all videos, both promotional videos for the company and specific products. Here's what I really love about this job is that there's no description. <laughs> Who are you? So this was posted one day ago. It does have less than five proposals, which is what I like to see, but it's got zero stars in terms of client reviews. It doesn't necessarily count it out. However, it makes me a little wary. It does have some client history that you could review on exactly what that job was. But I really hate when these, I mean, this is clearly a company. They're looking for an expert. They listed complex project, promo videos, semi-long-term situation. They're clearly a company and you're posting your job description like this, how, I mean, I get it, people are going to apply, but there's nothing for me to go off of. And I make promo videos like this and like marketing videos and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't have anything else to go off of besides the fact that they do promo videos. I have no idea what kind of company they are, what the products they are promoting are. And I just feel like that's relevant information. And so I would not apply to this job respectfully. I don't think that they're necessarily spammy but it's definitely not giving totally legit. And when I look at this, I look at whoever posted this and is looking for a person and I'm just imagining me talking to them and them not being super detail oriented and them not actually knowing what they want and them thinking that I can just make magic out of thin air. That's everything I'm assuming just from looking at this one job description. So no, thank you. In an ideal scenario, if I were actually applying for an Upwork job, just FYI, I definitely would be putting in a lot more specifics into this because I definitely want to have less than maybe 15 proposals on a job or else it's not worth it for me to apply. I want to make sure that my rate is going to be respected by the client. In terms of the experience level, I think sometimes people don't know what they exactly want. So sometimes I don't fill that out. And of course, I definitely want to make sure the payment is verified. I don't know if every client I've done has a verified payment, it can happen that they don't, but that's just a safe way to make sure you're not getting scammed. Oh, I love it. Doctor's waiting room video. Intermediate budget is $600. Well, I'm happy that they posted their budget. This is all you need. Look at this. Look at, it's kind of vague, but it tells you what you need to know. I'm the marketing director for a multi-location dentist office, and we need a polished video loop that will play in our waiting rooms. That's all you need. How hard is that to just post what you're looking for? This is like, the grammar looks nice. Like it looks like a nice job description. This is something I probably would consider applying to. Estimated hours would be 15 to 18, two to three hours of session footage, two to three hours sourcing music, 10 to 12 hours of editing. What kind of loop is this? But you know what, whatever. It looks like a relatively easy project to be honest. 10 to 15 proposals. Yeah, if I were really looking for a job, I'd consider applying to this. $600 and I highly doubt that it would take me 15 to 18 hours to edit that. Just guessing, but yeah, I'd give it a go. Ooh, let's look at this one because honestly, I like looking at what people are posting for YouTube help to just see like how, what people are thinking, what's going through people's heads. Uh, here's what I like. I like that 
they have a link to their YouTube channel. I'm guessing that it has relevant work samples on their channel for you to get a sense of the kind of style that they normally edit in. They also have a normal website for you to see like what their company actually is, which I think provides some legitimacy. And I do like that they have very clear instructions on what they're looking for for this video. Ah. Personally, I'm not really one to apply to a job if it's like a one-off situation because I like to know that there's a potential for a long-term situation. There may be a long-term situation here because if they have a YouTube channel, they are probably going to be looking to make multiple videos similar to this one. And so you could possibly think it's gonna be $75 per video. Maybe you could work out a different rate for them. I don't know, $75 seems fine, I guess for a video like this, depending on what the footage looks like when they send it to you, I would guess it wouldn't be too complicated to put it together, especially because it's a relatively simple project. But mm, yeah, I'm not really getting a sense of that this is the kind of job that I would personally apply to. I think it's something that I could do probably quite easily, but it sounds like I'm getting the sense that this is a one-off situation. And that's it's just not something that I like. So I don't think it's a scammy job. I don't think it's a bad job, but mm, probably not for me. Looking for a YouTube video and short editor, weekly or monthly payments. If you were interested, please contact immediately. I need a video editor with fast delivery times. I just don't know what goes through people's heads when they are posting a job. I know I've probably seen maybe jobs like this on Facebook and people post something really quick and like they don't elaborate what the details are of the job. More than six months, you want to hire somebody long term and pay them a relatively okay wage possibly and you're not going to elaborate on what the job entails who you are i just don't understand people i wouldn't flag this as inappropriate or say that this is a scam or anything necessarily i think more than likely this is just either an old or possibly a foreign person who doesn't maybe have the best skills in terms of writing out job descriptions. That's my assumption when I look at this. I just don't see how anybody could apply to this. There's five to 10 proposals on this job. I, and I even think that's too much. How, what are you applying to? You have no idea. And the payment method is not verified. Come on. No, I would not apply to this job and I would not recommend you to apply to this job either. Any job that looks like this, it's just asking for a lot of trouble. So I don't think that it's worth it at all. Ooh, video editor, short and sweet, look at that. Video editor, 40 to 60 an hour. I need a video editor to work with me. Take responsibility as a video editor. Work closely with multiple teams to efficiently support you their experience. I don't know what those words are. Work with a team for organization. This is with other tax related to the local market it's needed. Oh God. Sounds like this is a Hmm. Payment method not verified again. What are these jobs? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, first of all, I don't know what AVS video editor is and I don't know what APP, PAD or PC mean. Maybe you guys do, comment below if you know. <sighs> something tech related, broadcast related possibly. And that is definitely a world of video editing to which I do not know. And I probably will never know it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if this is legit, then I think 40, $60 an hour is worth it. And I think that's cool. Uh, however, yet again, payment method not verified. <sighs> And the fact that it's remote or local is strange to me, but whatever. I don't know if this is necessarily spammy, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend. You can apply to it, but unless you get very honest vibes from these people and they verify their payment in time for you to accept the job, I would not accept the job before then. Absolutely not. Okay, so these are the kind of jobs that I would click on whenever I was applying to jobs. And again, this is a really small description, but anytime I would say YouTube editing, I was like, okay, what's going on? Let's take a look. I need help editing a six to seven minute YouTube video. This will be a video for my YouTube channel. This is a one-time project and could lead to more consistent work. Again, I just don't understand. I think people come on here and they just don't really realize how Upwork works and how their job is just getting thrown to the wind and mixed in with uh, hundreds of other jobs. And they don't think in their heads to include the details needed to attract the right kind of 
video editor. So no, I would not be applying to this job. What I could, what I could do. Oh, I thought that you could do this. Maybe this was a long time ago. I thought that I could message people about a job before actually applying to the job. No, I swear that maybe that used to be a thing. I don't know, but I wouldn't apply to the job without having more information. Absolutely. So whether you can, if there's a way to contact them just to ask a question or if they can edit their posts, but absolutely not. I would be not applying to this job because I got nothing to go off of in my cover letter. I have nothing to say to them other than I will edit your YouTube video and everybody's saying that. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Entry level video editor required 80 to $120 an hour and payment method is not verified. We need a skilled video editor to put together captured footage and a polished product that satisfies the director's vision and is appropriate for broadcast. Finally, in order to present a cohesive story as a video editor, you should be able to combine sight and sound. As our video editor, you're expected to manipulate and edit clips, add sound effects, speech, pictures, and music. It's like they looked up what the definition of a video editor is. You will also be required to create a shot decision list based on the worth of the scenes and their contribution to continuity after reviewing the shooting script and raw materials. This is so freaking fake. You must make sure everything runs smoothly and logically. Requirements, a BS in film studies, cinematography or blah, 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 blah. <sighs> yeah, this is not real. It cannot be. It cannot be and I should flag it as inappropriate. 80 to $120 an hour for an entry level video editor. Well, we've got 10 to 15 proposals Interviewing zero. Yeah, um, no, no, do not recommend. Uh, should I flag it? I've never done that before. <laughs> Job post just looks like a scam. It really does though. That doesn't make any sense. I'm blaming you guys. I get in trouble for that. Uh, you know what? I may be saving someone, so. Who knows? Because I do not find that realistic at all. If you disagree and you think that sounds realistic, please let me know because I've never seen that before in my life. And I think that's not real. Oh, fun. What's this? UGC creators needed. Well, UGC is user generated content. So my guess is it would be like they send me stuff or something and then I shoot it on my end as if it's like a, like I'm the user of this product. Wow, they need to hire 99 freelancers. Good luck. I'm looking for an influencer content creator to make two organic video posts for a new hair device product launch for international beauty brand. Features of TikTok, Instagram profiles. Much have experience using hair tools. Done previous work, follower account, most of the unit. Okay, so they're looking for influencers. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate that, but that's not a video editing position. So it kind of irks me. I mean, it's just because video editing has the word video in it and also edit. So um, random jobs pop up all the time, which is kind of annoying, um, but I would not call that a video editing job at all. So <laughs> you definitely need an expert. I have a dark and blurry video. I need to improve the quality and lighting. Um, yeah, wow, good luck with that. Five to 10 people, I wonder how they messaged and applied for this job. What in the world are you possibly going to do with a dark and blurry video that's already been shot? I need to improve the quality and lighting. If anything, people are applying to this job just to write to them and say, you're out of luck, sir, reshoot it. And the payment method is not verified. Unbelievable. Um, hmm, look at this, look at this. A YouTube video editor needed with a long description, fixed price, hmm, not verified payment, hmm, DIY YouTube channel, funny, not serious, unscripted show. I appreciate job descriptions like this where it sounds like it is being written by a real person. And it sounds like it, it really is just some person on YouTube. They're just talking like a normal person. They're not talking like a business. They're not talking like, you know, super ultra professional, but their grammar is good. And they feel like they know what they want. And, but they're also just kind of like spitballing. I've seen these kind of job descriptions before. I don't think this looks spammy. However, there is no verified payment. The fixed price thing is interesting. 
And I don't like the fact that this description is great for in terms of what he's trying to do, he or she is trying to do. However, there's no description in terms of what the job entails. Like, what does that thousand dollar fixed price cover? What do you want? Is this thousand dollars for one video? And then you go from there. I hate that, you know, cause it's like, then you, if you really are interested in a job like this, you have to clarify that with them. But yeah, I don't think it's totally scammy. I just, I think if you applied, I think you could ask lots of questions and you could even in your messaging, if you decide to accept the job, you know, you could just say to them, hey, your payment method is not verified on Upwork. I'm gonna need to have that happen before we get the ball rolling here. But I don't necessarily think this is too scammy. I'm in the wrong time zone for them, apparently. I don't think that would stop me from applying necessarily if I really liked the look of this job and I really felt like I was the right person for it. But yeah, I don't think it's totally unapplyable. I'll say that. If you are on Upwork already and you are in the midst of applying to Upwork jobs, did these jobs line up with what you are seeing? Are you seeing better jobs or worse jobs in your search for video editing jobs? And I would just Love to hear what you think of this kind of video below. I kind of like looking at Upwork jobs because it reminds me of back in the day when I used to apply to them all the time, every day, every hour on the hour. And I just like seeing what's out there and what's being scammy and what's being real and, and how things are going right now for freelance video editors these days. So if you haven't already, I'd so appreciate it. Again, if you can hit the like button below, subscribe for more tips on video editing and freelance lifestyle. Thank you to my team. Again, I am Colleen and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.